Yeah, welcome back. We're back uh, to continue with different types of cells. In this model, we are going to look at electrolytic cells. Remember, we've looked at proteic or galvanic cells. We've looked at concentration cells. Now, let's look at electrolytic cells. The outline would be introduction, examples of electrolytic cells, commercial application of electrolytic cells, electrolytic cell versus galvanic cells would conclude. Now remember we said voltaic cells use spontaneous chemical reaction to drive an electric current to an external circuit. These cells are important because they are the basis for the batteries that fuel modern society, which we have looked at different kinds of batteries, but they are not the only kind of electrochemical cells. It is also possible to construct a cell that does work on chemical system by driving an electric current through it. So you see opposite now, we are looking at doing, you know, do you work on the chemical system? These cells are called electrolytic cells. So we can say that electrolytic cells are opposite of galvanic cells in operation. In electrolytic cells, electrical energy is used to carry out non-spontaneous reaction. So like I said, in opposite, you know, in galvanic cells, chemical energy, is transformed into electrical energy, while in electrolytic cells, electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. We have examples of electrolytic cells, sodium chloride, you know, molten sodium chloride, aqueous sodium chloride, electrolysis of water is also there. And here, sodium ion collide with negative electrode and they are reduced to sodium Metal. That's the equation. It picks up electron. Sodium ion picks up electron from sodium metal. Chloride ions that collide with positive electrode are oxidized to chlorine gas, which bubbles off an electrode. And that's the equation. Now, the net effect of passing an electric current through this molten salt to decompose sodium chloride into elements, sodium metal and chlorine gas. That's what you see here. This example explains why the process called electrolysis, electro, you know, loosening up or splitting. That's what electrolytic or electrolytic process is all about. There are two examples of commercial electrolytic reactions, electroplating of jewelries and auto parts, and electrolysis of chemical compound. An electrolytic cell consists of a container for the reaction mixture two electrodes immersed in the reaction mixture and a source of direct current. Now, commercial applications. Electrolytic refining and electroplating of metals. Impure metallic copper can be purified electrolytically to 100% pure copper. Impurities commonly include some active metals plus less active metals. The cathode is a thin sheet of copper metal connected to a negative terminal of a direct current. The anode is large impure bars of copper. So we can use this to apply commercially using an electrolytic cell. Now we want to look at you know, electrolytic versus galvanic cells concerning some points. For electrolytic cell, electrical energy is transformed into chemical energy. We said it before. For Galvani, chemical energy is transformed into electrical energy. The anode is positive here, why the cathode is negative. Or here, the anode is negative, why the cathode is positive. Ions are discharged both at the anode and cathode. Ions are discharged only at the cathode. If the electrodes are non-reactive or inert, Concentration of electrolyte decreases when the electric current is circulated due to electrolysis. Concentration of a side 
on the side of anotic half cell increases while that of the cathodic half cell decreases. Both the electrodes can be fitted in the same cell. The electrodes are fitted in different cells. So this is an example of the differences between electrolytic and galvanic cells. So we'll conclude, we looked at electrolytic cells, commercial application, and in comparison to galvanic cells. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the next module.